Rusty wedges claim to get more spin around the greens, and who doesn't want more spin? But the problem with rusty golf clubs, they end up looking quite dated and quite old really quickly. I've had rusty clubs before, and as much as I like the benefit of the shots around the greens, they look a bit tatty after a while. Well, TaylorMade claim they've come up with a solution. They've come up with this, the TaylorMade Mill Grind 2. And from the offset, as you can see, this is a chrome finish. It also does come in black. But this is very different because the club face has a raw finish. And when I peel off the sticker that it comes with, the face starts to rust. So we're gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna hit some shots without it being rusty. We're gonna rust it up and then hit some shots while the face is rusty. So as you've seen, I've taken the sticker off. Now it doesn't rust straight away. The oxygen and the moisture gets it to rust. So before it does start to do that process, let's hit some shots in its raw finish. This looks like a nice wedge. I think the shaping on it is really nice looking. It's almost a real contender for like a Vokia or a Cleveland wedge now. Let's hit some shots in different situations and see how it performs as a wedge to start off with and then we'll rust it up. Okay, so I've hit some shots around the green. I've got to say, I like this wedge a lot. It looks fantastic. The weight of it is superb. And I like this grip. It kind of almost feels a bit more parallel. I like how you can hold it down at certain points. So far, so good. Now the face at the moment has not gone rusty. And these are perfect conditions because it's a bit wet. And obviously we're out in the open. This should start to rust pretty soon. But before it does, let's get it on GC quad and hit some full shots to see how much it spins. And then we're going to rust it up. Let's see what it does first. Oh, that's got so much on it. Right over the flag. That is some serious spin on that one. Let's hit some more. Okay, they were creating crazy amounts of backspin. I was hitting there the 56 degree in chrome from 100 yards on GC quad. I was getting 10 and a half thousand RPM spin, which is bang on the number for a brand new wedge. Now these wedges come in two finishes, come in the chrome and they come in the black, all the way from 48 degree, which is a pitching wedge, to 60 degree, which is a lob wedge. The RRP for these wedges is 149 pounds sterling and $170 per wedge. But the real thing is that club face. So that, as I mentioned before, that's the raw finish. That's not rusted yet. This black wedge, I started to rust it about a week ago. So I was putting it in water, leaving it outside. And then that is currently what the club face looks like. That's after a week. So I've got on screen when it's first opened, right out of the packet, to now when it has been rusted after a week. And you've got to think the more rust that's going to get on it, even more friction may be applied and even more spin may be created. So, I've got a secret formula. I'm gonna rust the chrome one and then get it back on test and see if it actually improves the performance and the feel. Let's rust this wedge up. To speed up the rusting process, I've come up with a formula. This will rust it much quicker than leaving it in your bag wet. Let's, uh, let's get it rusted 
and let's give it another test. And 10 minutes later, we've now got a rusty club face. What's amazing is look at how the chrome finish is still in perfect order, and that's the whole idea. Because from this angle, you couldn't tell it was a rusty wedge. In your bag, that would look nice and sh shiny and chrome and brand new, but it's the advantage you get on the face. So the idea is now that that should have more friction. The rush should act as an extra bit of grip on the golf ball to create more spin. Well, let's hit some shots with GC Quad again and see if that is the case. Let's see if we can create even more backspin with the rusty face. That felt good. Cut a bit. Oh, that's got it. Now, out of all the tailor-made wedges I've ever tested, this is by far my favourite. And in fairness, it might be my favourite wedge I've ever tested. I love this idea, you can keep it nice and shiny, yet you get this added extra of the rusty face, which, to be fair, on my test, I didn't see massive difference, but over time, it may see more benefit. And also, it might just be a placebo effect. When you look down at that rusty face, it feels like it's going to grab the ball, it feels like it's going to spin more, and in my books, that can only be an advantage. I like this wedge a lot. I think they've absolutely nailed it with the TaylorMade MG2 wedge.